how to solve a problem like this. So a lot of you already got through the majority of your work. Now the next point is to learn how to find, once you go from a graph to finding the equation, now I want to go from finding the equation to actually graphing it. So we are given our y-intercept and our slope, all right? So the next thing now that we need to do is, first of all, we want to put it in our y equals mx plus b form, because that's what they ask. So remember, slope is your m. So in y equals mx plus b form, we're going to plug 5 in for m and 8 in for b. So I have y equals 5x plus 8. Thank you. Now, here's where the kind of stipulation comes through. Whenever you guys are given a whole number for your slope, here's a little tip. And if I'm asking you to graph it, it's very, very helpful to rewrite your um, slope as a fraction. And if it's already written as a whole number, you can write it as the fraction of 5 over 1. Why is that? 5 divided by 1 is it going to equal what? 5. 5, right? And the reason why it's so helpful, though, is because remember, our slope tells us how far to go up and over, or how far to go vertically and horizontally. So it's helpful when we have two different values. Let me show you what I mean by a graph. So it asks us to graph it. So I could create a y-axis and I create an x-axis, right? And once I've created my x and y-axis, first thing I know is my x, my x, my sorry, my y-intercept. Now remember, guys, when we were given a graph, I said, what was the y-intercept? You guys are very quickly over and say, oh, it's where it crosses here, and you found it. So if I tell you the y-intercept is 8, you need to create it. So you need to go up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I can make a nice big dot. Now the next thing, though, is it says the slope is 5, 1. Remember, 5 is your change in your y-coordinates, and 1 is going to be the change in your x-coordinates. So if my y-coordinates are changing a positive 5, that tells me I have to go up 5 more units. So I need to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then it tells me to go over 1. Since that's positive, that tells me to go to the right. So I'm going to go over 1. So the next point is right there. Then simply what I can do is I can come connect these two points. And I'm okay. Ta-da! Amazing! Yeah. 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 Yeah.